Hi, today I wanted to um, bring you another update and a little creation that I made for uh, my agenda. And um, I will link the original videos that I saw here on YouTube down below. Um, there were two videos that I saw that kind of inspired me to make my own thing here. And I will show you that at the end of the flip through. So here we go today it's looking especially fat because there is something in the back there actually um, all my stickers are in the back there that's what's different so today um, I just have a flip through I've reorganized some stuff I got a new uh, second batch of the Grin and Barrett um, stickers and that's uh, the one with a little coffee cup where you stick on the business card to get like your free order or something like that that one came with the order here, peel that one off. I have new dividers for this um, planner this time around and inspired by the Gucci Bloom advertisement that I saw in my magazines. And so these were um, cut, or these are cut files from um, the List Lab, I believe. And I will link her Etsy store, the um, product that I used. You download it and then I imported it into my silhouette and um, just stuck magazine pages and it just cut for me The only thing is with that is I had to cut the second divider. Uh, these are cascading by the way They look kind of like this where they're the last one is the longest and I think I have a couple new um, peanut planner co Inserts in here and they are where would they be? Oh, actually Okay, so like under work stuff. I put in these were freebies from her Facebook um, group the note the line just simple line notes I got these because um, these are 1 through 31 for each month and I kind of figured you could use these as like a gratitude um, journal or even um, you can use these to notate like uh, certain things that happen throughout the day and the reason why it's in under work stuff here is that I want to start notating things that happen at work like if there's an event or something I don't know even for HR purposes you can always track stuff um, and things that would not necessarily go in the calendar like if I had to look it up real quick I wouldn't have to dig up like a whole year's worth of um, you know pages to get to it and so that was the new one then I have I think under lists I have nope I guess I don't um, it's not under oh you know what it's under reference so I got these these are the menu and the groceries because I want to try to plan out my meals a little bit better and then I also have the cleaning one because um, I want to put the cleaning tracking thing on a whole nother cleaning um, insert I don't want it getting mixed up with my regular like daily schedule thing so I guess what I'm doing is I'm trying to like kind of compartmentalize or separate my um, tracking things like beauty like self-care and then the home and like my husband or my dog thing like I want everything to have its own section instead of compiling it all in one area because um, it is kind of hard to find and look up I guess the only thing the thing is that I switched to I believe this insert I don't know if I showed you guys in the last video but I switched to this insert where um, there's a tracking thing down here so what I'm using this side is for just like my regular personal stuff like holidays um, other people's birthdays and things this flap is for my work and my husband's work where they coincide so that we can see like where we are I guess like are we both out of town or whatever so that's what this side is for I don't know what these two little boxes are gonna be for yet and then this blank white space right here I'm not sure what I want to use that for yet but since I've converted to this and and I've reverted back to these pages with the tracking here um, this one's kind of become obsolete the big one and I really like this one because I love seeing all the dots everywhere but because I can't I don't know unless I come up with more tracking things it's kind of pointless I guess for me to do this one and so um, I try I'm trying out intermittent fasting and so 
I've listed the hours of the day here and the green areas are my fasting times and the white blank spots are for eating or your feeding hours. And so that's what I've used this for um, or I've converted it for because like these are all being broken up into little sectors like I got this one and then I have the reference one. The cleaning one is over here. Yeah, the cleaning one is over here. And then I have that monthly one right here. And so because there's so many trackings, I'm going to use this one as a fasting um, tracker. So that's another one that's, um, well, I guess it's not new, but it's like a new purpose I guess like repurposed so those are the three um, new inserts that I have this one the cleaning one and the menu grocery planning one and pretty much that's it pretty much everything's staying the same I'm still like jotting down things for 2018 on here and um, finance wise I feel like that system that I have is like so on point like it's working out great for me like things are actually getting paid off and it's like cool um, this like so my monthly bills right here per paycheck it's working out great nothing's getting missed then I got a budget tracker and I'm actually doing a pretty good job of like writing stuff down when I spend it and it's like I only have like four areas that I uh, spend my money on I guess like Etsy, beauty, my dog, and iTunes, or like entertainment, like including Netflix, Hulu, like online media purchases, I guess. So because I've like switched to these little flap inserts again, um, I had a bunch of these left over from the last time when I pre-dated um, and stuck the little, you know, days of the week cover-ups on here. I have so many and then I don't want to throw them away because I actually printed them on like super nice paper. So what I've changed this into is a project life planner. And I thought that these grids worked out great because you can draw the project life like grid or uh, you know like the format on here really well. Then I use this checklist and so here's like the month of August and I'm starting with August because I haven't project lifed in I'll say like accurately about a year. And um, here and there, like for special time, like occasions, like my birthday, I did make a couple spreads with the cards and the little like gift packaging that my sister sent me. Um, like I only have like one spread from 2017, but um, I wanted to start off with 2000, or I'm sorry, I wanted to start off with August 2017 because my nephew was born and this is like the first baby in our whole family, so it's like a big deal. So what I've done is I've listed out all the photos. I went through my um, my iPhoto thingy on my phone and I looked up all the pictures that I have and then I cross-referenced it with all the events that took place or you know the things that I wrote down in here for August. And um, basically I've also dated it because I also like to you know like write the little date down later when I project life. And so um, what I'm doing is like one and two, like this is the front, that's the back of page one, and I'm corresponding it to the pages or the photos that I've written down here. This is also handy so that later when I go to print it, it's going to print um, proper, you know, like I get the correct measurements. Like if it's a three by four, I have to shrink it down or whatever it is, like crop it down. Um, so then that's page one front and back. This is page two front and back, page three front and back, page four front and back, and page five front and back. And that will cover the month of August. That's five spreads for the month of August. And these are all the photos that need to be um, like filtered properly, like edited and um, printed. So that's what I'm going to start using it for. The only thing is that I used my undo and I don't know how this I don't know what the purpose of this is. I mean, I get it is to remove a sticker, but is it so that you can reuse that sticker? Because it leaves like a sticky residue. And so I try covering it up with just some random little white label that I have left from all that sticker paper, but it's very sticky. And so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I need to either put washi cover-ups or like make new stickers so that I have like a project life area. But basically I'm just repurposing this because the boxes are just like so 
um, convenient to draw out the layout. So like this one is just going to be a full page front and back. This is like the four by sixes front and back and then these two or the, um, the three by fours. There's four on each page. And so um, that way I know how many journal cards I need. That way I know how many, you know, um, things that I need. And I also like sometimes if I have a little souvenir or something, I have pockets available for me to fill up with those, um, you know, those areas. And so um, I'm thinking that I could like, yeah, I don't have these, but I mean, they can be just like notes or like future planning or whatever. But I'd rather use it for something like this than to toss it out and then to start cutting up new paper to just for this purpose. So this is another thing that I'm just going to have in here for August so that when I actually sit down and uh, um, do my project life, it's organized and ready to go. This is a little translucent sticky that I have and I just use it to if I want to write but not write on the paper because um, I have these bear stickers that I use to cover up the whole box when I screw it up so I'm trying to prevent that and finally this is the area that I wanted to show today um, this is just ugly paper this is some ugly um, scrapbooking paper that I wanted to test this out with before I started using nicer paper but um, basically what it is is um, it's like a sticker book and originally what I was using was I was using this thing and this is so old I think this is from 2011 it's six years old it's still in good condition it's still like um, what is it like functional like there's no tears or rips or whatever but um, I just wish that it had like attachments to clip into here because I love this wide size and so I basically just fashioned myself um, something with holes with this ugly paper so that later I can get something cute like this and remake it better. Here's my first draft and so this is more ugly scrapbooking paper. Um, clearly I didn't know which way was front and back and so that's what the green and the white is. Um, this one I actually cut down too small and it's smaller than this size and this size was the one that I liked. And when you do it, it gets like sucked all the way into the back. And so that's not what I wanted. What I wanted was for it to close flush against the back part of the agenda, like in the back. Um, so maybe this is a little bit too big because, and I wouldn't actually use it like this. Maybe like if I travel, like if I go somewhere and I'm going to be in a hotel room or someone's house for a long period of time and I, you know, know that I'll be stickering. Um, if I'm at home, I don't know why I would need to carry it like this. That's just kind of crazy because it's really fat. It's really thick. These are all the stickers that I own. Actually, that's a lie. I have more Studio Calico stickers, but these are all the stickers that I purchased on Etsy during my, um, like, sticker rampage, and I have, like, more coming from Virgo and paper. Um, so, basically... I will link the original videos. The original videos have like measurements and everything like that. Like it's much more organized. This, I just went at it with my, with this We Are Memory Keepers um, tab punch. And so I bought this over the Labor Day holiday. Um, Michael's was having like a half off sale. So I got this for about 12 bucks and I just wanted to, you know, try something out. Even though I have a silhouette and everything like that I just sometimes you know just something about doing it the analog way is just more entertaining and so um, the only thing with this is that the tab dividers are so big like they are just so large and um, this was like the divider set that I made originally and it's just so like it's too big and I tried to make the cascading dividers and I just eyeballed these. These are not good either. And so, um, it's like this. So I tried making cascading dividers using my tab punch and, um, it's like this, but this, um, tab is so big. It hangs out like almost like flush against the agenda. I don't know if people like that. I personally kind of don't like it because when I grab at it, I don't want to feel extra 
things hitting my hand and so I took these back out and these are different because I laminated the label inside of them instead of just stickering it on top I just want to see what that would look like um, so then I had this idea like what if I just you know have the tabs going this way that way they won't get in my hand or whatever like the way I don't like so the first one and I try to kind of layer these also instead of just having them all be you know up against one another like this rather than this way they're kind of this is the smallest this is a little bit bigger and this one sticks out the most so the little stickers are in here these are like small stickers they're all kind of shortish and then I got the medium one which is your typical sticker this size like the bears the grin and bear it and grumpy bear style like this size and then the last one has my biggest stickers I guess this one should go on the other pile but these are the biggest stickers and a postcard um, size in the back which are all of my pumpkin paper coat ones and so I just wanted to see how this would work for me um, just because I like that pink thing but the pink thing doesn't have like a latch or like some sort of hook to stay inside the agenda and I always kind of felt like, oh no, like I might, you just take it out and you leave it at someone's house and then you're like, you know, it's like done. So that's why I was trying to think of something like, okay, like, and then after you're done using it, you put it right back in and then you close it up and we can go. So I tried making this thing. I have like no tutorial because I just sort of eyeballed it. But if you watch the other ladies' um, videos, they are so like in depth and thorough that, um, like you could probably create this more accurately I'm waiting on my Virgo and paper sticker haul and also um, also my the planner society kit is shipping probably in a couple of weeks or next week and so I will have a couple of videos on here for September for the uh, those two things that are coming to me so let me know if you guys have any questions down below. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.